Hey, thanks for joining me today. This is Pastor Lafayette. We're in Psalm 109. It's Monday. Are you excited about the day? Psalm 109, verse 1, reading out of the New King James Version. Do not keep silent, O God of my praise. For the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful have opened against me. They've spoken against me with a lying tongue. They've also surrounded me with words of hatred and fought against me without a cause. <clears throat> Do you feel like that? Have you ever felt like that? Sure you have. You found that people that maybe you even thought were your friends have begun to speak deceitfully and say things against you. Do not be surprised if you're a believer if you find that people in your workplace don't like you. It's not necessarily you. Now, I believe that we can have bad personality traits and bad character, and we shouldn't. It should be being renewed, cleaned up. But sometimes I'm sure that you have felt, you know, I don't know why they don't like me. I don't know why they talk about me like this. <clears throat> well, it's not necessarily you they don't like. Uh, it's the Spirit of God in you that they don't like. You know, why? how could anyone not like Jesus? But they crucified him. So apparently he made someone upset. How could they, I mean, you know, Jesus, come on, the best per personality in the world, perfect in every way. And yet he made people mad. So how could people not like you? Well, because of the Spirit in you. Um, though it feels personal, sometimes it's not as personal as we really think it is. But here David is saying, you know, they surrounded me with words of hatred. Now, this is good, verse 3, because what do we say? Uh, the old children's rhyme, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. That is completely false. Words will destroy you. A lying tongue can destroy you. Words that are, that, that are used as a baseball bat to beat you down can, def can affect how you feel, how you think, how your day goes. Listen, that is how it works. Words are critical. And if it's critical, uh, the words that we hear, don't, it's also critical, the words that we speak. Verse 4, in return for my love, they're my accusers. <laughs> Lord, I've given them love. And they turn against me. I'm just trying to be a nice person. But look, look at this, the second part B, verse 4. But I give myself to prayer. Hmm. No matter what people might feel about you, no matter how they might come against you, no matter how you might hurt, give yourself to prayer. When the accusers rise against you and when things are spoken that hurt you and wound you, give yourself to prayer. And I'm not saying necessarily pray, oh God, help me. God, make me feel better today as much as, oh God, help them. Help them, Lord. They have no idea what they're talking about. Give yourself to prayer. Verse 5. Thus they have rewarded me evil for good and hatred for my love. Set a wicked man over him. Let an accuser stand at his right hand. When he's judged, let him be found guilty. Let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few and let another take his office. Let his children be fatherless and his wife a widow. Let his children continually be vagabonds and beg. Let them seek their bread also from desolate places. Let the creditor seize all that he has and let strangers plunder his labor. Let there be none to extend mercy to him, nor let there be any to favor his fatherless children. Let his posterity be cut off and in the generation following, let their name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered before the Lord and let, the, let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them continually be before the Lord, that he may cut off the memory of them from the, from the earth. Because he did not remember to show mercy, but persecuted the poor and needy man, that he might even slay the broken in heart. 
As he loved cursing, so let it come to him. As he did not delight in blessing, so let it be far from him. As he clothed himself with cursing as with a garment, so let it enter his body like water and like oil into his bones. Let it be to him like the garment which covers him and for a belt with, with which he girds himself continually. Let this be the Lord's reward to my accusers and to those who speak evil against my person. <clears throat> if you're not going to show mercy, David's, David's being just. We don't like justice. There's a lot of things we probably should get that we don't get, and we should be thankful we don't get them. If you don't show just, you don't judge. If you don't show mercy, why should you get it? If you don't bless, why should you be blessed? David is speaking here about his accusers. I've given them all these things, but they've rejected every bit of it. This is fair. In the scope of what's fair, this is fair. But thank God for mercy. Father, I want to thank you today that we do not get what we deserve. When we do wrong, when we show lack of judgment, when we show lack of character, or we don't show mercy, but we show judgmentalism, Father, or judge, uh, Father, I pray that, uh, or I thank you, Father, that you, uh, Lord, are a merciful God, and when we turn to you, you show us mercy. Show mercy today to those who hear. Let them experience your grace in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Thanks for joining me today. We'll pick this up tomorrow. Bye-bye.